These are some Dinar Guru updates starting out with Mountain Goat. I've never seen such recognition by any GOI or CBI of the issues involved in the future of Iraq like we are now seeing in the articles. Uh, the GOI is fully admitting the past problems, taking credit for the problems, and what they need to do to correct it. I have never seen such sense an outright admission of the real problems facing the country of Iraq. Uh, to come out in the open and admit it and then to outline the corrective actions to fix it is just amazing. I have my champagne in the fridge all ready and waiting. How about you? Wolverine says, received a call from a high source that everything is ready to go. They're doing everything possible to get this started before Christmas. Frank26, we are within weeks, I believe it all with all my heart. You can see the evidence. If you walk into a forest and the whole place smells like smoke and the trees are burnt, that's evidence there was a forest fire. But you'd have that one person who says, no, this is not a forest fire. A lot of people can't see the obvious of what's going on with this investment. It's so blatant. It's so there. There's so much good stuff. It's hard to keep up with it all. Mark Z via PDK. I can tell you my redemption folks are at least working a half a day on Christmas Eve. They will be off on Christmas Day and expect to work Sunday the 26th. Uh, that is what they're being told. We're in a minute-to-minute -minute watch. It's coming down to a crunch on the timing. There sure is a huge push to get it done. Breitling question for the IQD. Are we in another window? Answer, oh, they're very, very confident. They're going to add value to their currency. Having said that, I don't know how to put it in a window. I just have confidence that they have confidence in it. Um, Vital Brad says restoring Iraq's rate to its previous currency rate, $3.22. That's a big deal. With oil prices going up the way they are, Iraq can support a rate like that, similar to Kuwait. Uh, Nader from the Middle East, the CBI confirmed the reserve gone up yesterday to $100 billion. I told you it should be at $100 billion to stable the exchange rate. The second thing has to happen is Chapter 7. The third thing that has to happen, which is not leaving completely, be at least declare the end of the war. This is all of it. If we declare the end of the war and Chapter 7 is done, you're going to see $1.50 to $2 for real by January, not February. Let's hope that happens. All right, Holly uh, says there's major, major push to get this started before Christmas. We have massive team effort to begin the final release. And Militia Man article, quote, completion of the payment of compensation to the state of Kuwait, unquote. Uh, the payment of the last remaining installment of the state of Kuwait's compensation amounting to 44 million U.S. dollars has been completed. What is not to like about this, uh, this is a time it comes from the CBI. The last time it was from experts. I'll look for the U.N. and USA for that final decision. And now that payments are completed, the fact should usher in the final decision to release in totality Iraq from Chapter 7. As stated, it will allow interconnectivity with internal and external banks. That will be a day to remember, in my opinion. Mark Z says they continue to keep the redemption folks in the centers. They've actually asked them to stay late tonight, and my contacts were asked to stay late this evening. So a partial crew is working late into the evening, and they expect to work tomorrow and work late all week except Christmas Eve. I think we're looking at now getting notices, maybe setting our appointments for after the holidays. All right, Mountain Goat Lou says, we know the CBI reserves is about 100 billion US state, even though the recent fake news told us it was only 64 billion figures from the summer. And I'm hearing from my CBI contact that leaving the dinar at 1450 or even bringing it back to 1200 is not an option. The new economy and investors now flocking into Iraq will simply not work with the dinar undervalued. Of course, by now we should all realize this and that the dinar has been artificially held back now since 2012 to 13. We can expect to watch for an early January 22 reinstatement. All the information I have points in this direction. We as investors are just a small part of this event and we'll share in the wealth since we helped Iraq through hard times by investing in the currency. All right, Holly says we are days away from Christmas, and yes, there is still a strong push to get this out before the holiday. All we need is this to start, and most of us will set our appointments up after Christmas, uh, but to have this started would be the Christmas miracle. 
Frank 26 article, quote, completing the payment of compensation for the state of Kuwait, um, the last remaining installment of the state of Kuwait's compensation amounting to 44 million U.S. dollars has been completed. What did I say over and over? Kuwait was paid this big, and this is why we have the monetary reform coming. Chapter 7 equals float. You better memorize that. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK, there's been a development that is pretty exciting. Today is definitely fair game. There was a big occurrence yesterday that tells us just how close we are. And you can verify this in Iraq and CBI News as well. Iraq officially paid off their debt to Kuwait. Uh, the $52.4 billion debt has been finished being paid to Kuwait yesterday. Iraq is now paid in full. And this is the last thing to happen before the RV is released. The CBI officially announced uh, this on December 21st, 2021. This is absolutely groundbreaking, breathtaking, huge. I also heard the election results were expected today. And we still have Redemption Center folks scheduled to work throughout the holidays with Christmas Day off and only a half day on Christmas Eve. I am expecting our notifications to happen at any moment now. I have been wrong in the past, but this all feels awfully good, exceptionally good.